Hello again and welcome back to our course in Algorithms and Data Structures. We are today in Unit 6 about sorting algorithms and regarding insertion sort, which will be an example of O to the N squared algorithm. We saw one last time and we will see this one again today, this other example today. You have the um, Colab notebook available here. And if you click, you can just see the code here. But as it happens today, I'm having a bit of a, let's say, bad day with a not very reliable internet connection. So what I will do is that I have downloaded this notebook and you can do it here, file, download, okay, and then you download the Jupyter notebook file and I'm going to be running it using a Jupyter notebook interpreter from my own local computer. This is something that you might also want to do if you have problems of reliability or if you want for some other reason to have the code in your very own computer. Let's get to it. Here uh, I'm going to start running the code without major problems. Uh, you know, the plots, the matplotlib inline line to have the plots properly inserted inside of the Jupyter notebook. And because today we are going to be doing some sorting of lists, the sorting problem is a very important problem because it happens in many situations and also because it uh, serves as a very good example of different complexity classes. As we were saying the other time, we have one problem, the sorting problem. I want to sort something. In, for us it's always or mostly always going to be I want to sort list of integers. That's my problem. And then I have many different ways to solve it. I have many different strategies to solve it and for us the strategies will be different algorithms. Today we will be seeing one algorithm to solve the sorting problem which is called insertion sort. But as I was saying we're going to have to create and sort different lists of algorithms and in order to do that we are going to use a couple of helper functions. The first one is our well-known random int list function that creates a random list of integers. It receives the length of the list and two limits, the superior and inferior limit where my random integer numbers are going to be generated, and then creates the list. It starts with an empty list and it creates it using a for loop, and this should be very natural for you now. Okay, and let's just run it and see it in action. I'm going to generate the list with 20 elements from minus 10 to 10 and print it. Okay, here you can see that I have one. I can run this as many times as I want to. If I want to make my list longer, I can also do that, no problem. As I was saying, we will be working with uh, sorting algorithms and I want to know whether or not they work properly. So I'm going to need a function that tells me whether or not one list is sorted. There are different ways to do this. The simpler one is to just check that uh, no element is smaller than the element that goes after it in sequence. Okay, so I'm going to suppose that the first one is a smaller one and that all the element uh, grow. So I said it the other way around. What we should check is that no element is smaller than the one that precedes it, okay? Than the one that's before it, okay? So that's what I'm doing here. I'm starting at the second position in the list, position one, and I'm just checking whether or not every element is smaller than the element that uh, was before it, okay? If it happens, then I'm going to say that I have found a place where I can say that the list is not sorted, and then I'm just going to return not found. OK? 
okay if I don't find this then the list is, is sorted this is a type of search loop a little bit more sophisticated maybe because we return the not uh, found value but I think you should be able to understand it pretty well and here I have another uh, version that does the same thing but it does it using the all function in Python and a list comprehension okay which uh, I'm not going to stop at very much now but I recommend that you have a look if you are so inclined and if you are already pretty confident in your level of Python to continue let's just uh, see if my functions work and to do that I'm going to use uh, the random main list function that I have just defined and also Python's sort function and I want to be very clear Python sort function works and works very well so if you're just here to learn how to sort things well we are done just call Python's sort function and that will work every time for most applications it will work as good as you're going to get so definitely heartily recommend Python's sort function in this course we are going to be looking at it and at many other strategies for sorting and we will know why the sort function is as good as it is and uh, some other ways of sorting and we will use the sorting problem as a way to introduce different complexity classes but for now let's just check that uh, our functions to generate random in list and to see if a uh, list is sorted or not work and I have this cell where I just generate one random in list again between minus 10 and 10 with 20 elements and then uh, let's make it longer let's make it 50 again which is going to be a little bit less easy to read but a little bit uh, more interesting and I'm going to first check if it's sorted probably it will not be if I have just generated randomly I would be very um, lucky or unlucky if I generated a 50 element list sorted with random elements then I'm going to sort it and check whether or not it's sorted so I hope that I will get that at first it's not sorted and then it is sorted and let's just run it okay so I generated a random in list and as you can see it's not sorted okay and then uh, I asked and got the answer that it's not and then I got the same list after sorting it okay we can run it a few more times and we also always get a similar result 